brakes and we don't want you to lose your camera out there so can you pull this off yeah i've got a yeah okay please thank you if you want to leave it with us i'll have to lock it in my truck till you come back all right let me get out of the way okay
Well, boys, that's a wrap. I won. I won the track day. Brian was DNF, but, uh, uh, you know, Brian, we can't win them all, brother. Dude, I am wore out. I'll tell you. So, you probably gathered by now that, unfortunately, uh, a certain track marshal did not approve of my tethering setup on my forward-facing camera. And so, you saw that footage. Uh, he walked up to me right there at pit lane and was like, hey, man, you know, that, that tether doesn't go through the case. That's not going to work. Curiously enough, I did see other folks with standard adhesive GoPro mounts just stuck to their nose fairings. So I don't know, man. I feel like I was kind of singled out for some reason, but uh, you know, not everybody's a Fizzer fam. Hate is gonna hate, right? I'm sure it wasn't about all that, but uh, so yeah. So unfortunately, the footage you guys got is a lot of backward facing cockpit stuff. Um, I did raise the camera angle in my last session, which may be the only bit of footage I bother uploading from the cockpit view back, just because the, uh, the other stuff is probably pretty boring because you can't see a lot of background. Uh, so hopefully that repositioning um, produced some good background imagery and footage um, during that last session. All in all, it was a good day. Uh, Evelyn performed well, she always does. The gearing was spot on. Um, I didn't hit rev limiter in the straights. I thought I might, but the fastest I got, I think was like 101 or 102, maybe. Um, there just wasn't that much room to stretch your legs, even with that gearing. Um, but it really shined in the corners. Hopefully you guys can tell. Um, I do hate that the only front facing session I got was the first session because I got a lot faster, obviously. Everybody does. Uh, as the sessions go on and by the end of it um, I mean I was hammered down guys uh, just like any other track day get used to the new track you learn it you find all the lines and it's it's amazing it's really really awesome if you guys have never done a track day you need to do one I am first-hand testimony to you guys you don't need uh, a freaking super bike you know, you don't need the fanciest equipment. Uh, run what you brung kind of deal, man. You can bring whatever you're riding. If you're a Fizzer fam, your Fizzer will shine. I'm telling you guys. I mean, you see it here. Um, such a blast. Uh, this is a great track, man. So last time I came here was on the 1.3, which is a little short, tight track. This was the 1.7, um, which was longer but more technical in a longer stretched out fashion i guess like the one part called the rattlesnake that is a crazy multi chicane um awesome just very cool man really get to flick the bike around you know evelyn her heavy pig self but uh anyways guys um i guess this is where we end this hopefully um as you are watching this the footage turned out okay and i was able to bring you guys enough good stuff my wife got plenty of b-roll uh from the stands so if you guys enjoyed this man by all means smash the like button uh share the video if you want to sponsor me for another track day hit the little heart button down there the, the little thanks icon smash that um all proceeds go to track days bar uh bike parts and track day fees and registration all that stuff so uh yeah man well i've got a little bit of drive ahead of me so uh i'm gonna call it a day boys and girls that's a wrap i'll catch you guys on the next one and as always this has been me that's been you tack look up peace and goodbye